video is brought to you by Psycho Transportation. Now hiring Super B Woodchip, Super B Flat Deck, Class 1 drivers in BC's Lower Mainland, the Okanagan, and the Kootenays. To apply, go to Sutco.ca, use promo code Juanfan, let them know I sent you, get an extra hundred bucks on your first payday, and make sure you use me as a reference when you apply for the job. And any bonuses I get, I will split with you. Good morning. Good morning. We are in Castlegar. Stopped at the a and and had some lunch. Early lunch. Because it is 10.43 a.m. in October 2022 and we have the time to shoot an extra video let's shoot an extra video so if you're watching this likely we are on vacation or off for some reason we couldn't shoot a video whatever that reason may be but it is a beautiful fall day here we have not had snow yet but those clouds are starting to look an awful lot like snow. My radar shows that too. So there's a small chance we'll run into some snow. <coughs> Testing a different camera. A, it, the, the outside, the driver's side, we'll call it a mirror camera. It's literally attached above driver's side here. We'll see how that goes. It's test. I'm testing it. Brand new angle. I've been testing a bunch of angles these days, so just, just try and do stuff out and see what works and what doesn't. Look at these brilliant yellow colors here. As we do a hard climb out of Castle Guard, Highway 3, Westbound. Quite a bit of squall truck on CP radio. I do have all my chains ready. I have my winter tires ready. Uh, one of our supervisors came around and had a chat with us today. He brought up tires and chains, so. I like that he did that. I told him to do that with all the rookie drivers. He looked at my chains and goes, those look like an old rusted set. I'm like, yeah, I pulled the old rusted set off from the side of the container. Nobody else always, nobody wants to use the old rusted stuff. I'll use it. I'm like, I pulled it out, tried it on. They're all the right size. I checked every link. It's a good set of chains. Why not use the old stuff? Sometimes the old stuff's worn in a little bit better and actually works better than the yeah. brand new stuff. The old stuff is already proven to work. All I do is I lay them out, inspect them, make sure everything's good on them. I have my own chain pliers in the truck so I can fix chains on the highway if needed. It makes life a lot less stressful. So I have Four triples that are in decent condition used. So triples means they cover both of the dual tires. So the four triples cover eight tires. So eight tires can get chained up there. And then I have a brand new set of triples sitting in the toolbox. So I actually have five sets of triples. Then I have three sets of singles that are hanging on the trailer as uh, chains I either throw on the drive or on the trailer, depending if I need uh, drag chains in that state that we're in or not. Um, the singles I'll use sometimes if I'm like, you know what, it's barely slippery enough that I don't feel safe going up, just throw one set of singles on the 
truck. No harm done, just take a single set over. If I didn't really need it, not the end of the world. Sometimes I've just passed truck after truck after truck, spun out because I threw one set of singles on when I didn't quite need them yet. But yeah, I tested all the chains, all my tires are good. Um, yeah, let me check my weight, my gauge looks like it went down a little bit. One axle on the trailer, tires are getting low, but they're still all good. Keep an eye on those, but... We're set up for winter, so if it snows up here tonight, who cares? We're good. Yeah, you're moving. So we need more black ice and snow. <laughs> it's, the first snowfall is usually a lot of black ice at night, so... Although chains don't help much on black ice. Sometimes chains make up worse on black ice. Because they have nothing to dig into. So black ice, often really good winter tires, do better than chains. It's kind of a good thing that uh, Monday we don't have to leave early. We can wait until... That's well, Friday for us here. Yeah, so we can wait until it warms up a little bit in the past. Yeah, Monday, if it does snow and like crazy on the weekend, we can leave Monday at maybe 8 or 9. We'll see. We'll do the math and double check when we want to leave. Because we can't, we can't deliver until 3 p.m. in Vancouver, New Westminster. By the time we get to the pass, it'll be, like, what, 3, 4 hours after we leave? Yeah. 3 hours for About lunch when it's a little so if it snows like crazy up there, at least we don't have to hit it until the hotter time of day. Yep. Yep. Working our benefit. Coast, but towards the east. We're definitely in the Midwest, Michigan. You're eating all my fries. Mm -hmm. That was salty. Mm -hmm. That was a good fry. A little too salty, but they're good fries. And I just hit myself in the there. <laughs> you hit one, it's like, whoop, went salt. We usually order fries with no salt. Got to. Yeah. Beautiful. It is beautiful, beautiful fall colors here. I just have that feeling that this is going to be the last of fall we see. I know these videos are way out of order here. I don't know, you might be watching this video in the middle of summer, or maybe it's in spring by the time you're watching this video. You know what? Well, you're not allowed to juice me. What? Next week's going to be beautiful, too, fall weather. Next week's going to be beautiful winter weather. No, I need another week of fall. Oh, getting some sprinkles. Our roof cam may not last. Oh, a guy go past where the wipers go, so I was wondering what was that about. But you may be right. I just don't want you to be right because it's just so beautiful and enjoy it for another week. Because a lot of these leaves are falling right now. It's by the end of next week we're going to be in snow instead of. I think this weekend we're going to be in snow instead of in fall colors. It's going to knock all the leaves off the trees and it'll just be a bunch of naked trees. I mean, hopefully I'm wrong. But I want you to be wrong. This is beautiful. Oh yeah, this video is going to get copyrighted. I left Castle Guard shooting a video. Oh man, how dare you. Don't you know better? <laughs> Every time I leave Castle that's why you often don't see videos driving through Castle Guard. Because I know I have to fight a copyright every single time. It 
happens. I guess it's close enough to other videos out there. Somebody, some algorithm copyrights me every time. Yeah, these, this is such a fine mist rain here. I predict that, I think that these are snowflakes that have melted, but it's snowing at a higher elevation and it's just turning into rain down here. Although it's plus 10 down here, so we might not see snow. It's pretty warm. The radar showed a mix. It was quite the mix. <laughs> it was all together. There was green and there was blue. I love all the leaves just slowly falling down. Fall is a beautiful time of year. I saw a meme that sticks with me. Huh? There's a meme I saw on social media that kind of sticks with me. Okay. It says, the trees are about to show us how beautiful it is to let go. The trees are about to show us how beautiful it is to let go. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Cool little saying. It's time to let go. <laughs> you know they always come back next spring. Another quote, but I can't quite remember. Is that how the trees are green all year round, right? become colorful in fall? Like you have a time to shine and be beautiful too. Like if you're green, don't worry, your time's gonna come. Like, for meaning to it. I don't know if I agree with that because I think the spring blooming is the most beautiful time for trees look. This is absolutely beautiful too, but I like my spring bloom. No. Yep. No, that makes me sneeze. This doesn't make <laughs> me sneeze. Fair enough. It's another idle lease rental truck. I was one parked there at uh, the AW. Looked like he was waiting for a load. Man, the colors are just absolutely vibrant yellow here. light load. It's a mix of beams, small panels. It's a real mix of different stuff. It's a real hazard carving it. I, I made a very good map in my head of where to step on this load once the tarps are unrolled because there are traps on this load that I could break an angle on so fast. So when I was walking around doing the strap, I was mapping everything out. I'm like, okay, this is where all the gaps are. This is where it's safe to stand on. You know, when you roll out the tarp, it's like you got to remember every single one of those steps.
think some of these videos that are coming out, I'll have to just add to my watch later list. So when it's winter and I need color. Well, this video is not going to come up until who knows when. I'll put your other ones from this week too. Yes. It's been a good week. It's been a really good week to be shooting videos. wallpaper in years so it's been my thing. So I like that photo too much of me. It's definitely raining harder at the side house up there. Which it's really coming down there so it's kind of spotty. We haven't hit a hot heavy spot yet so 7 degrees Celsius. This is the second test I've done with the roof cam now in light rain and I don't think the roof cam does great in light rain. I want to do one more test in heavy rain. Maybe one in snowfall. Snowfalls, you know how that goes. But we know light this whole roof cam is pretty much useless, so I'll keep using clips of the roof cam here and there, just short clips, but it doesn't do well in drizzle. Well, we'll be using more in, in cab cameras as winter comes. See how creative we get with those. I like testing stuff up. Yep. Lots of fails. But how do you know what's a fail and what's a success until you try it? Now that we have three cams, I can afford to test stuff out. We always have the dash cam to go back on. Kind of always go back to that saying that we say. But you don't know if the answer can be no unless you go ask or do it. Try it. You don't know unless you try it. Like if somebody's gonna say no, you don't go. Say no to you go ask. That's how you get unloaded most of the time. A lot of time when dispatch is going, you made it, you got unloaded? I'm like, yeah, I did. Just by walking up and asking really nicely, going, hey, I know you guys are technically closed, but um, is there any chance you guys can unload me or can I park over here overnight or? Basically, make sure they know it's okay if they don't unload me. Most of the time, they're like, "Yeah, hey, I will unload you." But if you didn't ask, you would never gotten unloaded. <laughs> so I just went by the official numbers. Nope, they're closed. Park somewhere else and wait till the next morning. It's amazing how many extra loads I've gotten in because of stuff like that. Even yesterday, unloading they technically stopped unloading there at two, and we came just after two. in there at five have been unloaded. Be nice and courteous and you often get a special treatment. But you have to make sure like they're given the option of saying no. Yeah. And every now and then 
no, you cannot park here overnight, and no, we won't unload you. Uh, please find a different place to park, and then you're like, okay, no problem, I'll see you tomorrow morning. What time, or what time can I come in tomorrow morning? And often that number is earlier than they officially open. That could be a win. Yeah. And if you don't know where to park, often they will know a place that you can legally and safely park. It's pretty darn windy out. Six degrees Celsius out. Yeah, the cold crackle in Parts of the Okanagan that might get freezing temperatures this weekend. We're not going at home, are we? Uh, or the South Okanagan, the Central North is getting freezing. Huh. We were borderline on the forecast the other day, I haven't looked it up, but we were getting close to freezing temperatures now. Hard flying here. I saw like a one degree and then like a three degrees. I don't know if it changed that close. So. I just know it's gonna be like not even warmer than nine degrees. <laughs> like it's gonna be pretty cold. I'm gonna bring a hoodie or two into the semi next week. Can yeah, I should consider bringing snow suit and snow boots in here. I need a puke and gloves. The mornings are cold enough that I don't want to go outside for a night. I think we're still going to have blankets or do you need a different one? Do you need a heavier blanket? You're good. I'm good with blankets so far. Down here, you got extra blankets too. Yep. We're good for now. Bucky works really well in this truck. It does. I have the perfect temperature figured out. We'll probably make it warmer as winter gets further along because okay. the cold air soaks in quicker. So, but yeah, right now it's a very comfortable temperature. Celsius. Oh, he thought about it. Go three wide? Yeah, yeah. you want to. You 
wanted to go three wide. Looks like the rain is starting to float up here. Celsius. It's really floating here. No, it is. Basically, a message without even having to look at I know is going to say welcome to the U.S. Yep. We're not in the U.S. I know they went to U.S. roaming because there is no cell tower in Canada here, but there is one on the U.S. side just across. And it'll get me, and then I'm like, no. And I start getting charged for U.S. minutes, and luckily it doesn't matter for my plan anymore, but just as plan it does, so. I see fine unless I get a message or something like that. If, I, if you get a text message during that time or email during that time, then, then would, you get an extra charge for using yeah. US for that day. And I would fight it. Legal requirement for trucks to do a brake check at these in British Columbia, so. Let's do a brake check. And the truck coming up behind us is faster than us, so we'll make sure we let him by. Taking a nice long brake check and still sitting there. I guess I go. Light load. 
up, so I'm gonna barrel down the high, barrel down the mountain. Higher, higher speed than normal. I like these light loads. I just had this image of putting in a wine barrel and pushing it rolling down the hill. No! Why, why would you? No! We don't want to be in a wine barrel rolling down the hill. That would not be fun at all. Kind of, kind of mind you have. Exceptionally cruel. Quite a while. I imagine you would bounce along the road for quite a while before rolling off the edge of the cliff. There's trees and stuff, yeah? Yeah. It's always a beautiful section of highway with all the colors. Super B wood chip DCT. Well, that photo kind of shows the scale. Stop, we're on Vancouver Island. How much is the ferry bill? A lot. I don't remember quite how much, but... Hundreds of dollars. Uh, at least, I don't know, 500 at least. Beautiful Paulson Bridge. 
upon it. It's not much beauty off the bridge up top, but on the bottom it looks kind of cool. Car behind me starting to look like the past. Me. Super heavy and we're not.
that pretty much was the Paulton Pass. We're down at the bottom here. It's just so Beautiful cool. fall day on a Paulton Pass. Look at all the leaves on the road here. Uh -huh. wait, till all, wait till they all start falling. There might be some beautiful, beautiful yellow highways. Okay, so the photos I took. Got some good photos? Yeah, I'm really happy with them. They get the rain drops, but I'm like, you think you're on the side of the photo, right? Yes. Yeah, I think we'll leave it there. Paulson Pass once again. We're on a beautiful, beautiful fall day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support you guys share show us. We really, really appreciate you guys. We'll see you um, down the road tomorrow or next week or whenever this video comes up. We are out of here. You guys rock. Adios.